previously on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I have an event coming up, The Power of Marriage. I would definitely like for y'all to give some tips on having a powerful marriage. Well, speaking of Jalen, that's kind of why you're not leaving your job. What? We're not talking about my job today. I'm just saying, man. Think about it. How are we being shady? Hear me. No, I'm, I mean, We're I'm going to. We're a team too, and going together. Right? Are you a true no, Scott or are you down with the hoax? Zip it. I feel like that's being very shady. The name of the play is the Black Mother Monologues. And your character has a secret that she's hiding, but everyone just found out about it. Her husband has now come out on the internet in an illicit affair with their music minister, who is a man. Sorry, you said what now? Yeah. <laughs> What would you like today? Give me a shot of tequila. I'm gonna come back in here and avenge my brother's losses to you. <laughs> oh, man. How many games did you beat him straight? Oh, 16, I believe. <laughs> Solo, what's good with you, baby? What up, though? JB, what up, though, man? You good? Yes, sir. There you go. He ain't think you'll show your face around here after that. Whatever, man. 16. 16 in Whatever. a row. You got, you got lucky 16 times. <laughs> <laughs> you get on that? I take the bar exam in 10 days. My life has been all study all the time, and it's wearing me down. So I'm going to take a break, play a little pool with Marceau. He's going to play. I'm going to kick his ass in pool. Nope. You're up all night, and the only thing that you can do is just think. And I have my eyes wide open, thinking about, oh my God, what about so you're this? Nervous, what about you're that? Anxious. What about this? What about that? At the end of the day, I, I mean, I don't know how much more you can prepare for something. Just knock it out, dog. Anything is possible. Not that <laughs> shot, but anything is possible. For the last eight months, yeah. I've been working diligently on this this apartment deal. You know, yes. to, to be able to build these apartments. Uh, I was talking to the owner of the apartments yesterday. His uh, partner has some land and he's looking to do another deal that's maybe 150 units. How many units is, is the one that you're building now? 120. So it's bigger? It's bigger, plus it's gonna have a retail. So you're gonna do the retail and the residential? Uh-huh. God, dog. Dead serious, man. It's like, it's like, it's, it's literally go time. Scold has really been taking off. I mean, we're getting some really big projects and I'm, I'm excited. Sometimes I wish that my wife was just as excited about these things as I am. I don't know, man. It just feels like, dang, man. It feels like we got these deals and everything, and it feels, honestly, it just feels like I got them. You feel like you got them? You I, just, I just feel like it's, it's not Tisha and I. You feel like it's not Tisha and you? Yeah. Like, what, you, you guys aren't working together? It's like Tisha and I, not, not on the same team. Why? Why would you say that? I mean, she's in school. Literally, after signing a contract, mm -hmm. imagine you and your team getting the big winning a championship game, mm -hmm. and you're over there celebrating, jumping up and down, jumping up and down, and they're kind of on the phone, typing an email, sending some stuff like this, and they're not celebrating at all. And you're like, I thought this was a win for us. Turns out this is a win for me. I don't know if this is a Marshall pushing Tisha to do this right here, mm. or Tisha actually wants to do it. I'll tell you this, she has a whole lot of commitment for someone who may not want to do it. Okay, mm. she has a lot of commitment to the podcast. That's what I think she wants to do. I feel like I'm the only person in this business. I feel like we have separate goals. I feel like she, we have separate targets. Okay, this is what I'm trying to find out. Is this what Tisha wants to do? I'm trying to find that out as well. I really want to make sure that we are both growing and growing together. What does it matter if you have a great plan if by the time you get there, you're not, you know, on the same page, you're not, you're not together? My thing is, if that's what she wants, I'm like, whatever you want to do, do it. I don't want to push nothing on her because I, I don't want another five-year thing saying, hey, that was your deal, not mine. I, I, I agree. That's, you that's, know? Where I, that's where I'm at with Kimmy. I want to make sure that everything that she does, when you wake up in the morning, you're chasing something that actually makes you happy. I talked to her about Credit One, and uh, <laughs> the only hiccup I could see is like Millie's established certain things that are, you know, part of who we are. It's, it's company culture now, right? Brother, please. What you're gonna end up with, mm -hmm. 
a frustrated sister mm -hmm. who's been a solid manager and running things their way, and a frustrated wife. Listen, I have 1,000% faith right now that Kami is not gonna want to be at Credit One. You want her to quit more than she wants to quit. Here, here's my advice, don't press it. You have another bad idea you're gonna talk to Kimmy about, but you're not gonna make a decision first. You're gonna tell Kimmy about it before you make a decision, right? You learned from that last time. I'm gonna give Kimmy the option. Okay, I like it. Well, all right. All right, bro. Love you, man. Proud of you. No. You take that. Come you here. take that and go. Come here. Take bring that it and go. You're lucky you I didn't take this L. No. I can't get a hug. No, no, no. Yeah. How can I have all this swag? If I wanna, maybe I'll call him back. Taller than your water glass. I'm excited to be going to the Tony Surreal show to talk to her today about the Mommy Business Podcast live event. This is my first event. So if I'm gonna put myself out there, I might as well give it 100 and do it all the way. 94.1 WHRP, today's best variety of R&B. Letitia Scott, thank you for coming in. You've got mommy business. Yes. The power of marriage. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you, Letitia. When I found out that you had this uh, live podcast event coming up, I said, mm -hmm. oh, I got to catch up with her because I know what your event's tomorrow. It's my very first one, my okay. first live podcast yeah. recording. This live podcast, tell me about that. I get a lot on my social media. People's like, you know, why did you get married? You know, I don't think marriage is for me. So I want to give the good, the bad, and the ugly about marriage, you know, what make a marriage powerful. Who's gonna be on your panel? Adara and Sadara Collins. Of course, I have the Scots, my sister-in-law, Kimmy and Maurice. Oh, they're the newlyweds, yeah. so they're still in that happy, happy state. And then I have, of course, me and Marceau. Right. And we've How been long married have you for been married? 13 years. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a um, marriage um, counselor on there. So let me ask you a question. You've been married for 13 years. Is there such thing as the seven-year itch? Shoot, that was the first five years for us. <laughs> I was like, thank God we had a child so early on because, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, we got this child, so we're going to make it work. I don't think people honor the vow of marriage like they used to and like they should. You don't just walk away. You don't give up so easily. You have to fight for it. Letitia Scott, thank you for stopping in. Your chance to win tickets to the live podcast. Call us right now so you can be a part of the audience tomorrow. Uh, nothing but the best and blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You guys hungry? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Hopefully mom brings some home, all right? What is it, sweetheart? I'm thirsty. Where's your, where's your cup at? I thought you just had a cup over there. You, you threw it away? Why you threw it away? Because. Because what? I didn't know that I was going to be thirsty. What? You said, how do I write my name on there? It doesn't matter if you throw it away. All right, here you go. You want your bottle? I'm excited because I don't see anything in mommy's hands. What's up, Whoa, baby? Whatever. What's up? I'm mm. talking about that food. How you doing? You ain't, you ain't cooking nothing to eat? You know, I'm getting home a little late today. <laughs> How was your day? How it was rest good. Of your day? It was so, I got so much going on, I'm really trying to prioritize. And Ooh, so, I like that word. Prioritize. prioritize. That's right. You know, this right here Ooh. is coming up. It's getting close now, so I got to start learning because you see all these lines? You see all these lines? Got to learn Oh, wow. Lines. So is that the entire script for, for the entire play? Yep. Or is that just your line? No, that's just for the whole play, and I'm up in oh. there. Oh, okay. It so, looks like you've been holding it down. Yeah. They all still alive and breathing. Girl. So considering me being home with all of the kids, I would definitely think that my wife would bring dinner home. No, now I'm about to cook us a dinner because you don't like all that food out there. You like for me to cook. Do you not like for me to cook? I love for you to cook. You love my food? Yes, I do. Do you really like my food? Yes, I do. I thought you did, just making sure for the record. I do have some legitimate concerns, though, when it comes to your schedule, you know? Okay. Like now, me in here doing everything with the kids, um, I did everything except order pizza. And I'm thinking that you bring some food home, and now that's another thing for me to worry about. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably why I'm not well. See, it's like you just got so 
many important things that's taking up your time. I'm wanting to make it happen while it can happen. I, I totally understand that, but you can't have four or five things it doesn't involve the kids or me like you're not coming home today <clears throat> with food in hand. <laughs> but I cooked two meals the other day, Martel Hope. That's the other day. It ain't today. Sometimes you can figure it out. Oh, What's no, wrong with I, your I always, fingers? I always figure things out. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm trying my best, Martel, too, to make everything happen, still be a great wife, still be involved with the kids, be a great mom. But now you complain about a little bit of damn slack that I need you to pick up, because I ain't walked through the house tonight with dinner. Girl, when the last time slack. you cooked breakfast? Cook breakfast? When's the last time you cooked breakfast? I ain't got to cook I got a wife. To my cook, I ain't cooking nothing. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Action. Oh, then why the hell are we here? Hey, girl. Hey, Wanda. Did you say hi to me? Why is Mayor even here? I need people that loves me to defend me, because everybody came to me. It was like, Kimmy just looked like she did not have your bag. The hosts was there saying all this bad stuff about y'all, but your brother and sister is still cool with them. Family's supposed to stick together. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm trying my best, Martel, too, to make everything happen, still be a great wife. When's the last time you cooked breakfast? I ain't gotta cook I got a wife. I ain't cooking nothing. You have a wife who is trying to make some great things happen for y'all. I've been making great things happen for y'all. What you talking about I trying said, to? I've been doing it. Stop I didn't say you... Stop talking to me like... Stop saying stuff like that to me. What's wrong stop with saying, that? No, I'm just saying we, we're trying to make some great things happen. Nobody was saying you no, ain't doing just... I'm what talking about what I'm doing. Don't discount what I'm doing either. It's going to benefit all of us too. That's all I'm saying. No, you should have said it like that. Boy, you should have heard it that way. I want you to know that, first of all, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, you stepping up to the plate, especially since this is a very busy time for me. Like, this isn't easy for me either. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Did I tell you what the play is about? It's called The Black Mother's Monologue. I'm a first lady married to a pastor. And my husband has been cheating on me, and now it's all over the internet, all over the blogs, all over social media by my husband cheating on me with um, the minister of music, a man. Who did you pick the role? Did they pick you? They picked me. They asked me about because doing of it. certain things that we was possibly going through. Oh uh, well, I mean, you ain't cheating on me or hadn't cheated on me, Martel, with another man, so it's not about like no, that. I'm just but you know, just fear it. It's, it's... Well, I feel like certain parts of it is a good fit, so I don't think it's a good idea. I feel that it's gonna take us back on, you know, some of the things that we've been through. Like, that's what, that was like a detrimental moment in our lives. Um, though, I mean, I put us through it, but we went through it together, you know? Really? What? What do you mean we went through it together? Well, I don't want us to relive anything like that through a play. Like, why would they even present that to you? Why would you even accept it? Well, you know, sometimes people find their healing and reliving stuff? Not in, it's so not that's, reliving, because I'm not living it. I'm oh, acting. But I'm just, you missing the big point. You missing the big point. Like, you keep coming at everything that I'm saying and wanting to do. Like, what's wrong with you? That almost ended our marriage. Because of your Asian, you have a problem with me playing a role in a... Yes. Yeah. Hypocrite. <laughs> um, what? No, it's just real stuff, man. That's it. Is there, is there another role that you can play? Uh-huh, the role that I'm gonna play, Noni. I'm gonna do it, and you're gonna support me. Of course I wanna support my wife, but I feel that she continues to reach for more and more and more, and I feel that we can only prioritize so many things, and I'm already past my limit. I definitely feel like my back is up against the wall. Look, I hear you, and here's what I'm gonna do. Just in case I'm missing something, I have booked a session with Dr. Francis. Um, you know, to try to get another perspective since I'm in the situation of trying to do everything and be a mom and a wife and all of that good stuff. You might say to me, Melody, yeah, you need to redirect some things or you need to switch some things up, but I'm willing to be open and listen and hear that. You want me to go with you? Or you... No, I want to go by myself. Okay. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, babe. Hey, check it in. How you doing, sweetie? Good. Tired but fine. The bar is next week, and Maurice studies all the time. So I've kind of been tending the monster and helping Jalen to cross the finish line as well. So it's wonderful to hear from Millie and take a break. How's his study going? He's fair. You know, he's kind of zoning in. So we've made him a little home upstairs. <laughs> oh, we leave him alone. We don't call him. We don't talk to him. I just feed him. Slide it under the door. Is he Tell him to push it back when he's done. Is he jealous? <laughs> sounds a lot like... This is like study jail. But I give him a pass because this test thing has just been all encumbersome. So how's things been with you, though? It's been okay. I mean, like, it's just as good as it can be right now, just because we got a lot of stuff going on, trying to see what the end result is going to be with Kiowa moving here. Do you think she's going to move? Like, I have no idea. I was asking Maurice, so say she's here. Mm -hmm. You know, do you do Monday through Friday and she does weekends? Or how does that look? If, in fact, it does pan out that she's in um, Same close proximity. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? He seems to feel like Monster would still be with him 24-7. And I don't know if he's had that conversation with her, so. Or himself. Well, you know Maurice, he'll just kind of come up with a game plan and everybody just got to get on board. I don't even know what Monster would think. Like, I feel like he's been very torn because he loves his parents. Like, he loves his parents. Oh, I know. Like, as I see the love in his eyes and that he wants some hugging and some loving from his mom, he wants his mom's macaroni and cheese. He wants his mom's potato salad. And as a mom, I think he misses his mom. You look so sad. I know Maurice thinks Monster has to have his dad in his life every day to be a man. I raised Jalen as a single parent, so I have a pretty good perspective of this situation. How was your week? Better than mine. Oh, I got a great lady. I'm going to offer her the job on Tuesday. Oh, cool. cool. For which position? Customer care. She actually used to work at a credit repair company. Oh, that's a plus. <laughs> that's a plus. Super exciting. I'm happy for y'all. Man. Y'all are kind of taking them little leaps and bounds. One right down, up one there. to go. <laughs> one more person. What are you going to do after you quit your job? I know we've talked about this before, but I'm going to ask you, you know, would you want to work at Credit One? You think like your brothers. I feel like I'm talking to Maurice. I think that you have Credit One um, in a very good place. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying. I would love for Maurice and I to do something together. Mm -hmm. um, it hasn't been Credit One mm -hmm. because I just feel like that's a vision that he's already had that you all are coming to fruition perfectly fine without me. I can respect that. You know mm -hmm. what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna switch it up and be Team Kimmy. Okay. Hey, Reese. Okay. No, no, no. I think y'all should do something else. Okay. We got this over here. And you do. What do you want to do? So, to be honest, what I've been doing for years, I like doing. I like doing nursing, and I like doing real estate on the side. But if you quit your job, you realize you're not going to be doing nursing and real estate if on I the quit, side. If I quit, I'll probably do real estate full time. Yeah, y'all don't leave me. Girl, please. <laughs> Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Tonight is my first live mommy business podcast. Guys, it's more it's so. It's I don't it's it's me. We have a question on social media. Is infidelity a deal breaker? Hmm, well. First table read for Black Mother Monologues. I'm so excited to meet the rest of the cast and start rehearsing for the play. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Even though I haven't done a play in a while, acting was a dream of mine way back, so I can't wait to get into it. My name is Ima, and I am the writer and the producer of the Black Mother Monologues. Okay, guys, what we'll do is we'll start reading through the script. Have you read the whole thing through? Not the whole thing. All right, so we're going to start reading through on my action. Action. My mother's favorite pastime is mind games. Straight up, all day. One of her favorite mind games is something I like to call, Guess Why I'm Mad? Wait, 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 wait. So does your mom know you're married to a woman? So, T, 
Been slaying any big clients lately? <laughs> you know it. I just landed the biggest case of my career. I hate how you put other people's wants and worthless opinions over how I truly feel. Did she mention that her husband is trending on Pornhub, picking up their music minister and backing it up, broke back mountain style up in the Marriott? I know y'all have been talking about me behind my back. You don't think I read the articles on social media knowing you read them too? Well, I didn't. Yeah, she just got the info straight from me. Exactly! Because you pretend to be reaching out when you really just want to know the story. Lily, when was the last time I actually had a conversation with you longer than 10 minutes? <laughs> and Chloe... Girl, don't come over here, because you know we're not close like that. Oh, so we're not close like that? Then why the hell are we here? I know that I can play this part. You know, things going on with her mirrors my life experiences, so I really, really feel like it's going to help people be able to empathize with her even more. Any final words before we go? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody, when they come, they're gonna come here to mingle, right? Okay. 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 Tonight is my first live mommy business podcast, and I'm excited about it, but I'm also just a little bit nervous about it as well. Public speaking has always been a challenge for me, so I really need everything to go right. Look at my girls coming through, yes. Where's Marcel? That's your husband. Marcel has been traveling out of state for work, and we haven't talked today, but he knows how important this even is for me. This definitely would not show marriage in a positive light if my husband is not here with me. Hey, where you at? Yeah, I'm Who? <laughs> What's not too far? I need, like... I'm walking. Okay. They were, yeah. I, I, I still like the guys to get they were they were little talking. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You you made it. No, I don't I don't need a thank you for this. Showing up at events and things like that. That's not that's not a extra thing. That's level one. That's a thing that you do in marriage. Yeah, thanks is not necessary. I love my wife. Don't get no makeup on me. Oh, I see we got the crowd please in here. Okay, hey, Ma. Hey. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for coming. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna talk about the power of marriage. I'm Lasisha Scott, the host of Mommy Business Podcast. And give it up for my man. I've been waiting for it for a long time. But no, for real, Marcel. give it up for my man, Marcel. So proud of him. No one told me Madeline is supposed to be at this event. Why is she here? You know what? I am gonna be on my best behavior because this is my daughter time. This is Tisha day. And I'm gonna let her shine as much as she can. When Tisha invited me, I decided, you know, to go because I am trying to work towards being civil with her. Martell, on the other hand, he ain't checking for Tisha or Marceau. Okay, so we're gonna get started. The most important thing in a marriage, what do you guys think the most important thing in a marriage is? Number one is God, okay? You always wanna keep God first in your marriage. And love, God, love, marriage, vows. So sex is not important at all. Uh, let's keep it real, come on, let's keep it real. You always wanna keep it about 78% real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a question for the ladies here. Do you believe that God gives the husband the vision for the family? It's in the Bible. My husband and I have actually talked about this type of thing before. I can't say that it's only given to the men simply because there are single women raising their children and leading their families. Does God just not speak to them unless a man comes into their lives? Absolutely, God talks to both men and women. What does power couple power marriage mean to you guys? Oh, I'm not on the panel. Power couple? Really? 
Now this girl knows that me and Martell have been Huntsville's power couple, okay? Tisha girl, just get out of my shadow. Come on girl, you got your logo and stuff even looking like mine too and similar to my Embrace logo, you up here talking about power couple, you holding a, a podcast talking about marriage. Get out my shadow and do your own thing. We have a question on social media. You want to read it, Kenya? Is infidelity a deal breaker? Hmm, well. It can be. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. You know I be feeling some type of way when things happen with my daughter. You kicked her out of your event. I am gonna stick up and stand up for you. And I expect the same loyalty from you. We have a question on social media. Is infidelity a deal breaker? Hmm, well. It can be. No, I'm gonna, well, for me personally, no. A lot would depend on the situation. You know, if you're off on a trip, Puerto Rico, do what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's my homeboys and it's getting around the city, that's gonna have a, that's gonna affect me more because now we're talking about male pride. And I have to go to church and I have to go to work and everybody knows and they're talking about it. It's gonna be a lot harder for me to continue that marriage, you know, and, and with that type of um, type Spectrum. of rumor, expect, yes. type of information going on around. Yeah, I think that um, purposeful actions, like we all make mistakes, we all fall, but when you're doing it on purpose, that's a whole different deal. Yeah. I'ma say, I'ma say Maurice and I, in particular, while we were dating, both said that infidelity is a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, it was part of the caveat that got me in the marriage. I'm just saying, sometimes people make mistakes. Cheating's not a mistake. That's fair, but you can get over it. Look at Mel and Martell. Mel for Dave Martell. Martell changed his actions, and they're in a better place now. I'm not male. I think I'd have a bigger issue with her telling me than infidelity. Like, I don't, I'd never want to know something like that because you're gonna be, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna be hurt, you're gonna have that uh, pain inside. And it's like, man, you know what? At the end of the day, guys, just, just don't do it again. And <laughs> Let me live my happy life. <laughs> you did great to be such, okay. Very okay. interesting answer. Okay, Marcel's ignorance, his bliss answer, is really him just trying to lay the groundwork for himself for when he gets caught up, okay? Um, cheating ain't a deal breaker? Really? Chill, cheating ain't a deal breaker for none of these men up here. Really? This has been really good. Thank you guys so much for participating in this. And thank you guys so much. This has been a really good conversation. So, and I knew it was going to be. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And thank you guys for watching the Mommy Business Podcast Live. That was amazing. I'm so excited. Everything went well. We didn't have any hiccups, you know, great turnout. Everything was really good. Good job, babe. I Thank like you. it. There we go, up top. What are we doing? There <laughs> we go. Yep. Uh, good job. So where Martel at? Um, where's Martel? You know he don't really fool with these people, honey. Right, right. He told me not to come, so I started to uh, hang up my coat and everything, but I told my aunt. He told you not to come? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know he don't I, said, I said, bro, I'm already suited and booted. I got to go. You know him. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. Look at you. Look at you. You look cute. Thank, Thank you for coming. You. you know what? I wanted to give this for you. First of all, it was good. I enjoyed it. Good. And I wanted to, you know, thank you for inviting me. Okay. And I guess you extended an olive branch, so I wanted to return the gesture. So I got you a gift. Congratulations. Thank you. And you look beautiful. Yes. 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 Hold this. You pull it right here. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> See? Oh, oh. An olive branch. Oh, that's so cute. The olive branch. That's so cute. Look, I'll take this. <laughs> invited Mel to the event because I really just want to move on. Her showing up and sending this olive branch is definitely a weight off my chest and hopefully it's the end of all this drama, at least for a while. Thank you, girl. How are you? I'm doing really good. You know, I just wanted to talk to you about the sweets and mm -hmm. me really wanting to utilize you for them. From what your friend told me, you're in high demand and yeah. that my project is something that you probably couldn't get to. 
So, with that being said, do you think that the salon suites can be done by May the 1st? I think that it's a very, very hard challenge to get it done by May the 1st. If we were ready to go, we just needed to give you a takeoff and then get a price and get contracts and move forward, um, then, you know, we, we, it, it would be very simple. I can have those blueprints for you in two days. There you go. Make it happen. I'm gonna give Marceau the benefit of the doubt. As close as I am to the Holtz, Marceau's a commercial contractor and that's what I need right now. We'll see what happens. You look great. Thank you, and you look great too, Hammy. Thank you. Hey, girl. Hey, Wanda. Girl, you know I be feeling some type of way when things happen with my daughter that you kicked her out of your event. Why is Maya even here? Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I just don't want to feel like I have you by my side, but I feel like I'm by myself. I don't want you to feel like I'm going to stick up for something that maybe I don't necessarily believe in. Whatever. Well, I was told a couple weeks ago that you kicked her out of your event. Why is Maya even here? Because I want to get you up out of here. Wanda, you are so extra. What is I'm you saying? I'm just saying, you know. Because you know you was part of it, too. You can join with us. You know you feel some type of way, so. But you can't speak for me. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm just saying what I'm thinking that you may be thinking right. at the time. Okay? That is wrong. But anyway, I was talking to you before she started talking. She's so extra. <laughs> oh, Wanda's at it again. Here she goes. This is one conversation I'm not going to be in the middle of. She's just not the one to be mad at. You get mad at your husband. Your husband want to cause and all of this commotion because before then y'all was friends, but now y'all so much an enemy. Do you actually think Tisha causing you and your husband to be in a predicting y'all in today? Have I ever said that? No, but you feeling that way. How you? So you told Kimmy what she's feeling, and now you telling me what I'm feeling. You, why did you ask Tisha to leave your little event, and now you here at her event? Well, I asked Tisha to leave my event because she wasn't invited, and the reason I'm here is because I was invited. Okay, then I should have uninvited you and had asked well, you Ms. to Well, Ms. Rhonda, maybe you can because... have an event and make sure you don't invite me. I came here to this event to support Tisha and move forward. Like Martell and I have said multiple times, mothers are off limits unless they act out. I'm not about to make a scene at Tisha's event by checking Wild Wanda but I can't promise that if it happens again, that I'm gonna be this simple. Why do you dislike Tisha? Just give me that reason. Miss Wanda, if I disliked Tisha, I wouldn't be here. Really? I wouldn't be here. Oh, that is kind of sweet of you. No, it's not sweet, it's just yes, me. Yes, it is. It's just it's me. I don't know the, I don't know the fake stuff. So you, you're your, you're I your daughter's mother. Right on that to and I understand your concern for her, and I have a mother, too, who True. loves me the exact same way. So True. at this point, I'm gonna respectfully uh -huh. remove myself from this conversation thank so it doesn't you. become this, because I'm not gonna disrespect you, Miss Wanda. You're, but thank gonna, you. I'm not gonna for, let you disrespect thank, me, though. Thank you. Okay. I'm not gonna let you disrespect me. Miss Wanda. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye, Miss Wanda. I know they can't believe it. They think it's like it looks when they see me. Oh. That's right, it's all me. That's right, that's right, it's all me. Look at we almost dressed alike. <laughs> you look pretty. Thanks, you too. I'm taller than you today. <laughs> you got on them big shoes. I wanted to thank Kimmy for being a part of my podcast and to also get feedback from her to see how everything went. Did you enjoy everything last night? I enjoyed the dialogue. I enjoyed the conversation. Full house, you can't beat that. <laughs> I know, for the first one, I was like, this is I good thought thing. your energy was great. Okay. Did you feel as comfortable as you looked? Uh, I felt a lot comfortable doing that versus me doing that speech for the oh, women empowerment. Yeah, because I think I don't like all of the attention on me like that, like mm -hmm. front and center. So with the panel, I didn't have to do all of the talking. So, I agree. Um, I was happy to see Mel because I did invite her to it. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I spoke to her and she's like, I have a gift for you. So I opened it up and it was an olive branch. I was like, oh, that's sweet. That is nice. That was nice. With that being said, while I was talking to Mel, uh -huh. your mom came up and she said, um, I want to talk to Mel. I was like, okay, here? Like right now? Right now. So 
She said to Mel, Kimmy already know I got a problem with her. Oh, yeah. And I said, Wanda, stop it. Like, stop it. I, I just I just need you to know I'm not going to go back and forth with Wanda. Are you a true Scott side. or are you down with the hopes? Zip it. I said, I just can't believe Kimmy would go, would stoop down like that. Real that <laughs> back. No, no, no. Real no, no, that no. back. Yeah. And I love Wanda. Be very clear. Mm -hmm. But, um, I'm going to have to leave a room so I don't cuss your mama out. <laughs> I'm just and trying. Then, I know my mom approach is not the best approach. My mom is upset with Mel. She's upset with you also. And whenever we went through everything between the Holtz and me and Marceau uh, last year, I honestly felt like I, I was alone, you know, in this situation. I got this girl coming at me, this dude coming at me. Everybody's like, oh, well, Tisha, you're wrong too. No, f that, they're wrong. And I need people that loves me to defend me. Marcel's just sitting there, Maurice and you, and I'm like, damn, it's four Scots on this chair, and I'm out here by myself. Oh, you said, I know for a fact. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. I know How for do a you fact. know for a fact? Were you there? Yeah, I was there. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Oh, yeah. They called Tisha a dog, she barked. All you can do is shut the f up going forward. You like Melody Hope, and you're upset that this didn't work. No, Kimmy. Tisha, like Tisha, <laughs> Tisha, it is that. Because everybody came to me. April, you know, my mom, some of my other friends, they was like, Kimmy just looked like she did not have your bag. The Holtz, well, they're saying all this bad stuff about y'all, but your brother and sister is still cool with them and Kiki and ha ha with them. Family's supposed to stick together. The Holtz, well, they're saying all this bad stuff about y'all, but your brother and sister is still cool with them and Kiki and ha ha with them. Family's supposed to stick together. You're correct. I didn't interject because historically I've been down that path. Mm -hmm. And Marceau looked me in the face and said I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm speculating. You're completely wrong, Kimmy, is what he told me. And that was about so the business. Why the am business I going to continue to defend stuff mm -hmm. that I could very well be wrong? That was about the business and about them going behind our back and sitting in the land. It's not like you had an argument with her about me trying to, or me telling her, girl, you know Martell got this girlfriend over here. I wasn't coming for their marriage. I wasn't trying to destroy her reputation as a person. She wasn't the only person who said things that can be hurtful to a marriage. What did I say that was hurtful to their marriage that she didn't already know? the comment that you made on the couch. Didn't Martel call you and ask you, did he ask you that Mel tried to sleep with you? Stop. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta clear this up. Did Mel try to have a sleep with Marcel? Oh, well, her husband made that phone call. He asked him oh, that. I'm saying, you asked me for an example and I'm giving you one. But that wasn't damaging to their marriage. How could that not that be damaging? That was her damaging? husband made a statement. I said, how do you know? He said, I was there. I said, oh, so was it the time when you called Marcel and asked Marcel that question? That's when I said that. When someone is trying to damage your, your marriage, they try, you're trying to ruin a whole marriage here. And you was like, yeah. So I was like, you was like still in the middle. My intention is to not interject in you all's issue at this moment. And most of it is because I haven't been there. I can't say what you said to her when you said, did I say this? I don't know. Did you say that? I, I haven't been at 90% of the well, conversations that y'all had. some of the things she was saying that was, had. like, things that's wrong. You know, not, not about what you What's, said But I'm to saying, me. I can say, man, I don't think Marso cheated. No. I don't know that for a fact. I can't call that girl a liar. Who am I to say, you a lie? I call a liar. Because I'm like, it's fine. not true. Because I, I know myself. I can't call that girl a thing. liar because to... I can I don't know that. I understand you and Mel, y'all building a relationship. And I have no problem with that. But if push comes to shove, I expect you to have my back versus having Mel's back. Tisha, I have your back constantly. So do you feel like you had my back at that particular moment? No. Okay. But I told you I was not gonna be in the middle of that anymore. So me being quiet from then on really shouldn't have been a surprise. Well, let me tell you what I expect from you. As my friend and as my sister that I love, mm -hmm. because if I feel like two people are gaining up on you or somebody is talking crap about you, I am gonna stick up and stand up for you, period. And I expect the same loyalty from you as well. 
use the word loyalty because I don't want you to feel like I'm going to stick up for something that maybe I don't necessarily believe in just simply for the cause. My thing is, is that it sounds like you're only seeing it from your point. Whatever. I just don't want to feel like I have you by my side, but I feel like I'm by myself. That's all I'm saying. And I hear you. I'll take it for what it's worth. I hope it's worth a lot. I got it. So we're good. Yeah, we're great. <laughs> Next, on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Tisha and I had a talk and she said I wasn't loyal. I'm not picking sides for foolishness. If you really felt like somebody was a threat to you, you wouldn't just file the police for you and you definitely wouldn't be in their environment and in their face or around them. At least they were on record. I'm gonna protect my daughter. I'm, I'm just trying to understand what you're saying I should do. I'm not telling you to do you anything at this point. No, 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 no. I'm not telling you to do anything at saying. this point. How can I even say a word and you don't stop okay. talking? You know, my father and I didn't have a relationship as I was growing up. My mom used to make me call him. I'm like, he ain't gonna answer no way what I'm calling for. What did it feel like? Marceau and I, we was talking last night. He was like, you know what? I feel so alone. I know that when guys feel like they're alone, that's normally when they start stepping out and having an affair. Yeah. <laughs>